بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين الحمد لله We begin in by praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this opportunity for us to continue in our lesson and in Al-Mantiq to speak any about the Sulam of Al-Imam Al-Akhdari and we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us and we be understanding and may Allah make in this lesson a reason where our sins and your forgiven, your prayers and your answered and may Allah bless us and your topic and hidayah and protect us from all difficulties, trials and tribulations in dunya and akhirah. Ameen. Ya Rabbil Alameen. So inshallah for today before we uh, enter any into our slides, just in a recap of what we mentioned uh, in our last lesson. In our last lesson, uh, we are still any speaking any about the types of uh, definitions, namely Al-Had, Al-Rasm and Lafzi. So I spend any some time any to explain the meaning any of had the meaning of rasm the meaning of lafzi and the difference any between had and rasm and uh, al had any is divided into two parts any we have had the tam and we have had an naqis and likewise uh, pertaining to rasm any we have rasm tam and rasm naqis so let us any go through this any again uh, when we speak any about al had we are speaking about making a definition based any on uh, a genes and fossil genes and fossil so in english and they call it genus and differentia and both any of these two elements and as what i mentioned in many a times it uh, it explains any the uh, the essence any of the particular thing any that is defined so for example any if you define any human being you say human being al insan al hayawan al natiq al hayawan Yani this is any the class or the genus which uh, human beings any is under any the class of living things or beings. And then any we have an natiq, yani this is the thing any that differentiate human beings from the rest of the members of the same class, that is the class any of al hayawan. Uh, so this is an example of differentia. Yani the thing any that differentiates a particular thing any from the rest any of the the rest any of the members. And both any of the, these two elements explains any the essence any of that particular thing so a good any definition is a definition any that uh, define the uh, essence any of uh, the thing any that is prescribed so for example if you want to define any cars or you want to define uh, even uh, what you call it uh, and any other things any other things any de- definition every single word and it has definition every any single word as definition and if it carries any meaning then it is defined yeah so uh, when we look at things any around us we are we are what you call it uh, in a situation where we see many things any around us we see trees and human beings and animals uh, even any thoughts uh, even any in various any sciences and for example even any in islam all we see uh, terminologies and the meaning any of things and definitions any of things and this is where Allah mentioned in the Quran وَعَلَّمَ آدَمَ الْأَسْمَاءَ كُلَّهَا Allah yani, inspired any Adam السلام, that he is able yani, to have any the knowledge of Al-Asma yani, the name of things and their definition the name any of things yani, and their definition so basically the knowledge of the mantik yani, the first part is about Tasawur the, the, the reason why we study yani, the chapter of Tasawur uh, the purpose any is to understand how are we able to define and how are we able to distinguish between a good and a definition and a bad and a definition. So here in this particular chapter any that we are in, basically any the author is speaking any about how any we differentiate a correct any definition from a from a, a, a false any definition and a proper any definition any from an improper definition. So when comes any to the hat, this is what is the correct any form any of definition. So whenever any we want to define any something, we always any have to look for two things. So this is the thing always and we have to remember 
we have to understand the meaning of the genus from which genus any does this particular thing belongs to and what is the near genus last week also i mentioned the difference any between near genus middle genus and far genus so when comes any to insan the near genus is higher one the middle genus is a uh, jism yani a body and the far genus is jauhar that is a substance so uh, insan comes any from higher one higher one any is part any of uh, a body any a living any body jism and jism any comes any from a part any of substance yani every every uh, body any is every body any is a substance likewise uh, every living thing any is a body so because any these are the genus so we have any the near genus and we have the middle genus and the far genus so a correct any form of definition when we speak about genuses we have to use the near genus so when we define any human beings we say al insan huwa al hayawan straight away any we go any to the near genus and we cannot and we saying al insan who will just uh, who will just monatic although any the meaning is correct the meaning is correct but in terms any of definition any there is a shortcoming there is any a shortcoming we call it this is al haddu naqis al haddu naqis yani a definition any that is that is uh, that has any a shortcoming a naqs what is any the reason big reason and is because any we are using any a further genus instead any of using the instead of using any the near genus so al haddu naqis is when any we use a further genus any than the near genus uh, and likewise uh, when comes into rasm we have uh, rasm tam and rasm tam any is basically uh, when you use any genus followed any by an attribute that is specific any to the thing that you define so for example any human beings any you say al hayawan al dahik al hayawan al dahik so here any we have any the word any dahik dahik any is basically yani uh, someone any who has any the ability to laugh or a person and is laughing any there are two things here one is any bil quwa and one is bil fi'l so when you say al hayawan al dahik meaning he has any the ability any to laugh yani he has any the ability any to laugh it doesn't mean that he is laughing so when he is laughing and we say this is bil fi'l but if you say bil quwa meaning he has any the ability any to to laugh and laughter is not part of the essence now this is the thing this is the thing any that differentiate between al had and rasm when we speak about al had and we speak about essences but when we go back into rasm it is genus and accident genus and an accident we call it al khas correct no this is any part any of asma uh, what you call it uh, kulliyatul khamsa al khas and we have al am but here any anyway, when comes into rasm it is genus and khas it genus and khas so there is a such thing any as al had an naqis and had to tam ah for the rasmul tam and rasmul naqis rasmul tam any and and rasmul naqis rasmul tam is when we use any a near genus instead any of a far genus same thing any as what any we speak any about al had so for example any if i say al insan huwa al jism al dahik this is rasmul naqis yani because any i'm using any a further genus so if i say al uh, al insan huwa al hayawan al dahik now this is any rasm al tam this is any a correct any form of rasm a correct any form any of rasm meaning i'm using any the near genus and i'm using what i'm using an attribute or an accident that is specific any to insan that is the ability any to laugh al dahik طيب uh, if any for example i do not mention the genus any i just mention the attribute i say al insan huwa dahik now this is rasm naqis so rasm naqis uh, is either i use any a far genus or i do not mention the accident or i do not mention the attribute any other accident or afwan i do not mention the genus afwan i do not mention any the i do not mention the genus i only any mention any the attribute i say al insan huwa dahik and this is rasm rasm naqis so rasm naqis either i use any of our genus or i didn't use any genus any at all just any the the accident any or the attribute now this is a rasm naqis so we have haddul tam and haddul naqis we have rasm tam and rasm naqis correct or not so under this any we have any all these examples 
Al Haddu Tamini again, we are speaking any about near genus and uh, fossil. Near genus and then fossil, and fossil, and it goes back and speak with essence. Uh, and then uh, Al Haddu Naqis, the, the shortcoming of Al Had, and it is when you use a far genus. Uh, that, that's when and you have the Haddu Naqis. The parable and of saying Al Jismu Al Natiq, Al Insanu Al Jismu Natiq. This is Haddu Naqis. And then any Rasmu Tam, and it is to use any a genus, a near genus. And uh, Al-Khas yani, An accident And it is specific And it is the thing And it is divine Define This is Ras Mutam And Ras Munaqis Is using any of our genus Or not mentioning the genus any at all Just mentioning The accident any Or We say Attribute any of That particular That particular thing As for Lafzi Lafzi is basically It is a kind of synonym Yani you you just uh, place any the word any for example if person asks you what is the the meaning any of a lion, you say uh, a lion any is lion any is a beast any for example lion any is a beast. So this is any uh, what you call it uh, words any that carry any about the, any the same meaning. Uh, a good example any will be for example any what is the meaning any of beautiful we say attractive. What is any the definition of beautiful it is attractive any you just basically. Basically, use any a synonym, yeah, any something, sub, some words, any that carry any the same meaning, and this is any the lowest point any of definition, yeah, any that we should not be, we should not be concerned any uh, about, any it's just any about any understanding any things, but to get any good definition, we have to go to al haddu tam. This is the thing, we have any to go back any to al hudud, the had. So that is why when we study religious and sciences and whatever knowledge any that we study, always any look out any for. A proper definition because a proper definition and it will make you able and to think correctly so then you don't mis- make mistake any in thinking so that you don't make, and this is any the f- the first way to understanding arguments the first any path any to understanding any arguments and is to understand any good definitions so all this time any we are speaking any about uh, are basically any the purpose and is basically any to understand about good definitions. And good definitions and it is one of the most and important and chapters and in mantra. In logic and it is about understanding definitions. And please understand this. And before any we go, any to speak about arguments and how to differentiate any between good and bad reasoning and arguments. The first thing any we have to understand any the definition of the word that is used any in the statement. Huh? Just like any when we say uh, for example, prayers any is wajib or prayers any is obligatory. Prayers and it is obligated. This is a statement. In order for us any, to understand the statement, and you have to understand the individual definitions any of the components any of the words made up any in that statement. So we have as salatul wajiba. What is the meaning any of salah here? What is any the definition any, of salah? So we have any definition any in terms any of the Arabic language. We have any definitions any in terms any of the Sharia. Uh, we have any definitions any in terms of Urfiya, yani the uh, common practice any of people. So when we speak about Islam, you have always need to go back and into the definition between Sharia, not any al lurawiya Lurawiya it is basically to assist the meaning any in the Arabic language is basically any to assist you any in understanding the definition and to understand the connection any between uh, between tarif uh, Sharia and tarif any lurawi the definition any of the Sharia and definition any of the Arabic language. But what is any important any is to understand definitions any based any on. That particular subject. So, since any we are in the, for example, speaking in the Sharia, so prayers. Any when we define in prayers, any ulama any mention al afalu wal aqwalu al muftatahatu bi takbiri wal muhtatamatu bi taslimi. What you call it? They mention that it is words and actions any that are begun any by the takbir and that ended any by by any the salam. And this is any an example any of an example any of a definition. And uh, in every chapter, any for example. When we speak any about tahara, any for example, raful hadath, or izalatun najas, or ma fi ma'na huma, or suratihima. The definition any of saum, a saum luratan any al imsak, istilahan al imsaku anil mufattirat. Yani it is any to saum any is basically any to abstain any from things any that breaks any di, the fast any with intentions any and so on and and so forth. So. The benefits any of learning any mantik when you understand about the importance any of definitions and how uh, to make any definitions and how to differentiate good definitions any from bad any definition. The 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 benefit any is that you are able any to uh, learn any properly and to think any properly. This 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 is the thing. 
طيب for our lesson any today إن شاء الله now any we go back any to our slides I really any uh, have not any edited uh, this uh, this thing so here is the part any where the author, author was speaking any about al hadu naqis and rasmu naqis or hadu tam and rasmu tam so he said wa naqis al hadi bi faslin aw ma'a jins ba'id la qarib ma'a yani wa naqis al had in hadu naqis is bi faslin ma'a jins ba'id jins ba'id any safajin as what any we mentioned not any jins in qarib naam this all this we, i mentioned earlier uh Okay. Okay, now when we go on and to the to the next one, yani he mentioned wa naqis rasmi bi khassatin faqat, aw ma'a jinsin aban qadir tabat. Yani this is had uh, rasm naqis. He said bi khassatin faqat. Either any it is defined as uh, using any an accident. Uh, yani the the specific any accident or attribute without any mentioning the jins. That's what eh, I mentioned. أو مع جنس أبعان قد يرتبط. Oh, we use any of our genus and then with the attribute. So this is also is considered as رسم ناقص. Then any he mentioned وما بلفظين لديهم شهرة تبديل لفظ برديف أشهرة. So this is anything about synonym. The third part any is definition any based any on لفظي and this is based any on synonym. Uh, just any we just uh, use any uh, synonym many to replace any that particular word any to explain the meaning. This is the meaning any of the meaning any of lovely. This also any I have explained. Okay, now yani this is any to this lesson any basically. Now any the author any is going to speak any about the condition. The condition any of the definition. So he said, and we have reached. Bait any forty-five. He said, "Washar tu kulin." Yani the conditions any of the definitions. An yura muttaridan, munakisan wa dahiran la abada. So these are some conditions here. Yani if you look any at the words here, you have any the word number one muttaridan, and then you have munakisa. Muttaridan. And munakisa. Taib, uh, what any is the meaning any of what is any the meaning any of mutarida? In another word, uh, our ulama any they use any the word mania. Mania. Yani when you define any something, it has to be specific. It cannot be something that is general that is shared any by other things. Then your definition any has a shortcoming. Then your definition any has has any a shortcoming. So the definition any must be encompassing, and there must be, yani, uh, uh, something that differentiate it from other things. So this this is the meaning any of mutarida and munagisa. So mutarida, yani, it does not let those that are not within that definition yani to enter into the definition, whereas munagisa, yani, it includes, it includes. What you call it? Uh, uh, it includes the thing any that is that is defined. So by having something that includes and something any that defines, then you ha- can be specific any to understand the definition any that that you are aiming at. So let me give you any uh, the 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 simple any example any of the definition of al insan. Yeah, need to understand. Actually, this is something easy. By defi- by examples, inshallah, and hopefully it becomes any easier. Now, if you look at the definition any of al insan, al insan any we say the definition any is al hayawan al natik. So al hayawan here, this is jamia. Al hayawan any is 
Jami'. What is the meaning of Jami'? Yani it is universal. Hayawan, insan is from the class of Hayawan. So when it comes into jeans, it is universal, correct? No? Uh, this is when we spoke well, last time, and you spoke about uh, kulliya. Al kull any wal kulliya. So the scholars of Mantik, any they are concerned any about uh, this concept any of universal, universal and particular. So when it comes any to uh, jami' any jami' that is any mun uh, munakis, yani it is something that is universal. So when you say uh, al insan huwa al hayawan, correct? For example, any if I put a full stop, what happens? I say al insan huwa al hayawan. Full stop. Is this any? What happens any to this kind of definition? If I were to say al insan huwa al hayawan, now this is a shortcoming. Why? Because al hayawan is a universal any concept that has many members. So it includes human beings. It includes animals. Yani it includes yani all kinds any of living things. So there are many any members. There is nothing any that mana yamna. There is nothing any that prevent the other members any from entering into its definition. So the first thing any is together. The second thing any is to differentiate. So that is why any we have any the fossil. So we say al insanul hayawan. Insan yani is al hayawan, which is correct. Yani is part any of living things. Taib, what is any the thing that differentiate yani insan any from the rest any of the members? Now this is the thing which is mania. So definitions any that it must be jamir, it encompass, and it must be mania. Yani it removes any removes any those who are not any within that definition. So if you are able any to do this, these two things. Then you are able any to get any the correct any definition, because otherwise, if we were to say al insan huwa al hayawan, now this is not specific, because all any the other members any of the same class any are included, and this is not a correct form of definition. But if you only have, if you only have uh, what you call a fossil any only, it is also any a shortcoming any because you do not any mention any the the genus. You do not any mention any genus. You do not any include the class any of what this particular thing any is from. That is also any a shortcoming. So both things any must be there. One is mutarida. That's what any the author any mention. The other one is munakisa. So munakisa, in other words, it is jame, it is encompassing, and mutarida it is mania. Yani, it is specific and it removes those any who are not any within within any that definition. So this is any the first condition. The first condition any is that it is mutarida. The second condition is munakisa. So mutarida is mania. Munakisa yani is jame. And then it must also number three zahir. It must be clear. It must be clear. La abad yani not something any that that people yani cannot that people yani cannot understand. So definitions yani has to be definition yani has to be has any to be clear. Yani what is an example yani for example yani we say definition is not clear. Meaning any just any to mention, just any to mention the genes any only, or just any to mention the fossil any only. So if you do so, then it is not clear. If you do so, it is not clear. Just like any when we say, for example, al insan wal hayawan, it is not clear. So people any might be wondering any what kind of hayawan any is this? Or you say al insan any huwa natiq. Yani you say al insan any is something any that possess uh, what you call it any the intellect. This is also any a uh, a shortcoming any it bring about any questions as to what any this definition any is speaking about so it must be it must be clear and free any from ambiguity it must be clear and free any from ambiguity so i mentioned the conditions any of definitions are that they must be encompassing and conditional clear in its meaning and not vague not vague any meaning any it is not something that is that is any difficult yeah need to be to be any understood and then any the next one wala <coughs> musawiyan it cannot be something any that is musawi. For example, uh, if uh, we ask any, for example, what is the meaning of something that moves? What is any the meaning any uh, something any that moves? Any a person any say any for example, something that moves means something that is not as still. Yani it's basically the same thing, correct? Or not just any a twist any of words. 
Now this is any not this is not any a proper it's not any a proper definition because any it leads any to the same thing. It leads any to the same thing. So a person asks any what is knowledge? Knowledge is something that is known. Now this is not correct. This is not correct. And because any you are not explaining any anything. You are not explaining the genus any there is no differentia. There is no fossil. Uh it is this is not any al had. This is not any a correct any form any of not any a correct form of definition. So it must it must not any bring about any the same thing. It must not any bring about any the the same thing. It has to be uh, explain any the essence any of that particular thing, and it has to be specific any to that particular thing. Wala ta wala It must not be metaphorical. It must not any be metaphorical. Bila kari natin any without any any evidence, without any any evidence any then. That explains. For example, any if a person say who is an alim, what is any the meaning any of a knowledgeable man? Yani we say al alim hu al bahar, al alim any hu al bahar. Yani a knowledgeable man is the sea. Yani this is metaphorical. Any but what any actually this person is saying? For example, his knowledge any is like any the sea. His knowledge any is like the sea. But just any using the sea any like that and pull stop, people any cannot get. What any is meant because this carries him a, a metaphorical meaning. Any unless any you have any an evidence, unless any you have, you have any an evidence. Yani for example, any you say al alim any wal bahrul bahrul mufakir. Yani you say for example, a knowledgeable person any is an ocean that thinks. Ah, uh, now any people know. Oh, he's speaking any about, he's speaking about a person. But any if you say al alim in al bahar, any people might be thinking that al alim any maybe any has got something any to do any with the ocean or the water or something like that. So when it comes into metaphorical meanings, any they must always any be equipped any by karina in Arabic any we call it karina. So he said wala tajawuzan bila karina tin biha taharraza. Yani it must be similar to the defined and not carry metaphorical meanings. Without any any evidence, without any evidence, any to to explain. And then any the next part, any he said, "Wala bima yudra bi mahdudin, wala mushtarak, wala mushtarikin min al kari nati khala." Yani part any of the condition, and it must not be circular. Yani circular. Yani it goes back any to the. It goes back any to the same thing, just like any how any we mentioned any earlier, that it must not bring about any the same same meaning, because otherwise any does not give benefit, and it must not bring back any to the same thing. And for example, if you ask what is knowledge, knowledge is something that is known. So something that is known comes any from knowledge. So it is it is a cir- circular. Uh, it, it is like any a circle, like in English any we call it beating around the bush, beating any around the bush any. Yani we are using any the same word, the same word that is derived to explain any that 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 particular word. So if you use any the same word any that is derived any from a particular word any to define it, now this is the meaning of daur. Yani this is any a circular, uh, a circular kind any of explanation which does not give any much, which does not any uh, does not any gives much any benefit. So I mentioned here it must be. It must not be a phone. There is a mistake. It must not any be circulatory. Circulatory. It is defined or using any a word that carry many meanings. Yani there are certain any meanings any then certain words any that carry many meanings. Any for example in Arabic any the word ain. The word any ain. Uh, ain any can mean ice. Ain any can mean spy. Ain any can mean uh, water. Ain any can mean uh, what you call it essence. So if you define any something and you use ain any for example you say what is shams what is any the sun you say the sun is al ain now this 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 word any has many any meaning so you have any to define properly you have any to define any properly and you have any to add in any the evidences to ascertain that what any you are speaking about is a particular type any of ain because any these are words any that has that has any many that has any many meanings so definitions any basically it must be clear it must be jami and mane it must be wadah 
it, uh, number one, and the author speaks about it must encompass and it must specify, and then it must any be clear, and it must not have metaphorical meanings. Uh, how many conditions already? We have four already, and it must not be circulatory. Any five, and it must not have uh, words any that uh, that has many meanings any without any evidences because any it can lead to confusion as to what any you are, as to what any you are referring to. So all these are basically the conditions any of. The conditions any of uh, definitions and lastly any he said wa inda hum min jumla til mahdud antud khilal ahkamu antad khilal ahkamu fil hudud. Another thing any that we cannot do in definitions is you should not any put in rulings in definitions. For example, if a person asks you what is the meaning of as salah, you say as salah tu hiya al ibadah tu wajiba. Yani a prayer any is and and uh, an act that is obligatory. Now this is wrong. This is not a definition. This is a hukum. So the, uh, rulings should not any be included in definition. So definition any again any has to be. It has to be clear and it has to be uh, encompassing and specific and all these things any that we that we mention. And then lastly any he said. Wala uh, wala yajuzu fil hududi zikru aw, and you cannot add any word or in definition because any it shows any uh, it shows any that you are not firm, that you have doubt, uh, it shows any that it is not clear. So, for example, and you cannot be saying al insan wal hayawanu natik aw dahik. So, what you call it? The word any aw cannot any be used any in hudud, but it can any be used any in in rasam any because rasam any speaks any about attributes. Any attributes any are many. Accidents any are many so alhamdulillah any by this any we have uh, ended any the chapter any of the sawur inshallah in our next lesson we will enter into babun fil qadaya wa ahkamiha and this is any the most any important any chapters any in mantiq that we will go any into speaking any about uh, uh, propositions and also syllogism and qiyas may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us any of tawfiq wa sallallahu ala sayyidina muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam